Hello there, it's Nelly again with a new plugin demonstration video. In this video I want to show you how to set up a Forms plugin from UGIT. The plugin is simply named Forms. You can find it if you search for it in WordPress. For that from your website go in Plugins and click on Add New Button. Search for Forms. And you quickly will find it. Click on Install Now button. Then click Activate button. And now I'm going to configure it and then add it to my page. To access to the Form Builder page, click on UGIT Forms. In this page you can find default four forms with different themes. Each form is created for a certain purpose. Let's see them. For example, this one is for a subscribe form. It's made on a team black and white. The next one is delivery form. The other one is contact us form. And the last is reservation form. Right now I'm going to create a brand new form and demonstrate all files that it has. To create a form click on add new form button. Let's close this banner. OK. What we can find in this page? From these tabs you can access to the other forms that you have already created. Right now we are on my new form. We can change the title from here or from here. Click on the pencil and type something new. Let's call it test form. As we are on a free version, it allows us to fill the form using a simple files which we can find in add forms files. So now you need to decide what you want to have in your form. I'm going to add every field and demonstrate them. Let's start with a simple text box. I think this text box, you can write anything in a label. Let's call it details and something in a placeholder. The other settings that it has is a line to the right left, above, and inside placeholder. But inside placeholder just removes the label and allows only placeholder. The other ones is better for me. This is a value when the field is empty. You can have the placeholder or leave it empty. Then you need to choose the type of the file. It can accept only numbers. In case of numbers, the field allows to have buttons. It's not seen here because of this pencil, but on the front end, there is a button. Clicking on the buttons up and down, we choose the value in numbers. If we click on simple text, it allows us to add as numbers and text. OK, click on save form. And let's go to the next file. Next one is Textoria. So this one is better to tell the story. You also call it your story. Write a placeholder. All the same settings such as right align, left align, above file, inside placeholder leave placeholder empty or not. Field is a required. Don't forget to select this if you want this field to be strongly required. If you don't want, just remove this checkbox. Field height size. With this number, you choose how long will be the height of your field. Field resize is available. This option allows to drag the field and enlarge it. If you remove, you can see this icon is gone, so the field is solid and cannot be resized. Field is active. If you don't select, 
then a visitor will not be able to write anything in this field. If you select, then the field is active and can be filled in. Save the form and go to the next one, is email. Email field is necessary if you want to get messages from the visitors and send them a reply message. For example, if you add just a text area or text box and write email, then the user will not be able to get the reply message because for it there is a special email field. Email field has the same settings such as label name, alignments, value if empty, field is required or not, field is active or not. Next one is select box. Select box can have several options. You can add as many options as you want. Write the option name, click on plus button and the option will appear. Select which option should be the first one. Alignment, select box label, field is required or not. In case of select box, visitor can choose only one option. Next one is checkbox. Also the same way you can add new options. Label position, label name, field is required or not, field is are active or not, and columns count. If I have many checkboxes, you can decide to have two columns of them or one column. Next one, radio box. Add new option. Make which one should be default active. Column number, alignment of the label, name of the label. In case of radio box, a visitor can choose only one option. If you compare radio box with checkbox, in case of checkbox, a user can choose several options at once. So let's save and go to the next one, which is file box. Using a file box, you allow a user to upload a file. From the settings, you decide what type of the files you allow to upload. You need to write the types of the files in this form if the type of the file is a form that is not allowed to be uploaded, the file will not get to you. The other options are field label, label position alignment, field maximum size. This one is the maximum size of the file. For example, I don't allow to upload file more than 5 megabytes or enlarge the number up to 15 megabytes. Upload file directory. When the file is uploaded, you need to choose where this file should get. By default, it sets content and uploads folder. But you need to write the next folder's name. So the file was redirected to the folder you want. And field is required or not. Save the results and go to the next one, which is custom text area. This custom text allows to write everything that you want. It can be an agreement license of your company or something else. It has a visual editor from where you can add a text and modify it using the following tools. You can make the text bold, italic, or make a word to be a link. So next one is CAPTCHA. If you didn't activate the Google CAPTCHA, it will bring a pop-up from where you can activate using the private and public keys. As I've already activated the CAPTCHA, it just appeared. All I can do with this is to decide the type of the CAPTCHA. It can be an uh, image or audio to place it on the right or left side 
and capture theme it can be dark or white save and the last one is the button if you want to send your form to a user or admin you need to add the button submit button has options to change the name of the button to add reset button using this button you can disable all form content and start again or you can remove the button and change the name of the button actions after submissions when a user clicks on the button you can choose if it should go to a URL then here you add the URL print success message the text of the message can be edited I'll show you next or refresh the page I'll choose print success message save my form other things that you can do with this form is to change the order of the files by drag and drop you can notice that it allows you to add it on the right side so this way you can have two columns of form free version also give you five default themes right now it's on a victory theme fresh mint and white wild green and the last one is navy of course you can add new themes and customize it up to your taste but as it's a pro feature all theme options are here and they are close right now so we'll go next is to show form title or not you can disable the title of the form or enable it also you have noticed this button this is for pro version it adds ready to go files like phone full name date address and police agreement but I'll tell about all pro features in my next video let's move on and add this form to our page to add the form to page you need to get the short codes the plugin gives two types of short codes first one is for pages and posts the second one is for template you need to copy this PHP short code and add it into your PHP file of your template it can be a footer PHP or header PHP no matter right now I'll take this one and add into my post don't forget to save the form before you leave the page in the page you need simply to paste the short code or you can use the button add form choose the form insert form and the short code is here update and let's see the results here is our contact form page so now it's time to set up the options for sending this form to administrator you can do it from the section called general options if you have noticed in the forms there is a little note which says that the light version allows to have only one custom email message to administrators and recipients while the pro version allows you to customize email message for every form separately as we have only free version we can write only one administrator message and one user message for every form in this page you can see several blocks which are your form settings this means all submissions from visitors will go to email from the name John and the email of the John this is a capture public key and private keys this button says that all submissions will besides going to an email will also appear in all submissions section so you can read the messages from here if you do not select this you will get the messages straight on the email email to administrator this is the person who will get all submissions for example you may have several websites with different names and one administrator email in order to know from which website you got the message you can write 
the name of the website instead of John and this way sort your messages. So in email to administrator click here to get the email write the email make sure you write the correct one message subject and the content of the message this form content will bring all the files from this form into the message next one is email to user when a visitor clicks on submit button he gets a thank you message from you or it can be we got your message thank you follow us and so on the message can be edited from here subject and click to send the message you can remove this checkbox and the user will not get any messages from you next to it you can see the translations this section allows to translate every text or replace the text with the new one for example, if the sender's message was sent successfully, it says message is sent successfully. When the message failed to be sent, it says the message failed to be sent. Submissions was referred as a spam will bring the following notes. Captcha is not valid will say the following. Required file is empty will type this text. Email address that the sender enters is invalid will say incorrect email. Uploading a file fails for any reason will say error on file upload. Uploaded file is not is not allowed type. It says unacceptable file type and uploaded file is too large. Will bring the following text. So after you have made those changes, save them. And let's start filling the form and getting the submissions. File box is required, so I'll upload some image. Select box. I will check this and radio box, email. I'll tap my email. Text area. Hello. And your story. Hello again. Click the capture to say I'm not a rabbit. Choose the correct images and click on submit button. Now it says message is sent successfully. So let's go and check our emails. This one is the administrator email. Here I got the message from John. The message includes the attached image, the content of the form and the message itself. The email for user has the following form. This email goes to user. So, besides the emails, let's go and check all submissions section. Choose the form, and here we got one which says the user IP address, the submission date, user country is only for pro version, and the message itself, which you can click to show, spam or trash. Click on show, there is an attached image, the content of the form, and the information about the sender. Under the old submissions, it's a newsletter manager. Using the form, such as subscribe form, you can get many emails in your newsletter manager and on this collected email, send a message about news of your company. But as it's a pro feature, I'll pass it. So what else we can say? Um, besides a team or post, you can add this form into your widgets. For that, go to Appearance, Widgets, and here you can find huge IT forms. Take and drag it to your sidebar area, click on Save, and let's see it. Here you go. This is a subscribe form on a sidebar. What else? The form is also very responsive. Let me check the responsiveness. This is on Galaxy S5 view iPhone 6. So that's all about forums. If you think I didn't tell anything, just ask me the questions in the comments or write us on our support email, which I'll put below. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos from us. Bye for now.